Ah yes, after years of searching, I finally find a chest. Wonder what could be inside. Oh no, oh no. It was a trap, it was a trap. Oh, that horrid monster's left. Let's see if I can get an eye. Yes, the treasure is mine. You can't trick me forever. Today, Mr. Mobile, and today I'm going to be showing you, as you've seen before, how to make a trap chest in Fortnite Creative. Now, as you see, I've got a wee scene set up here from the Kirby video, and I've also got a chest. The chest isn't hard to get, all you do is so just go into weapons, click add the chest, you can do this with considerables as well. You go into the create chest or the real ladder, and it creates the chest with those items in it. So there's only two items you're gonna need for this. Really, you'll need one item. But if you count a chest as an item, you're gonna need three items. So what you're gonna need is a button and the monster spawner. You don't need to add monsters. You could add a death trap, a floor trap, uh, make the floor, the floor, you know, drop, and you go into like a parkour section or something. You could do that. But anyway, you have the button. Now you, you can change the button to any size you want. I am just turning it around, if I can figure out, okay, I guess it was the right way before, let's just put it upside down, but you know, as you go over to this, it says search, go into this, and go to where it says interact, just change that to search, you know, change that to search, change visibility in game to no interaction radius, you're going to want to make sure this is quite big, we're going to want to make sure it's bigger than the chest itself. And now you're just going to really want to put that in front of the chest. Now you could make it so the player can come back after saying this off. And it will then, you know, oh, they could open the chest, get the stuff. So enable a game start, yes. Have a delay of none and a reset delay of none. And you're going to want to make it times can trigger to one if you want it so it can only trigger once and then they can open the chest after. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to, when interact with transfer on to 150, I'm just doing 150 because I have a feeling. Okay, I don't have channel one, but anyway. So in this, enable, or yeah, enable when receiving from channel 150. And then you can just change your settings on this if you wish to. But make sure that it is not enabled on game start or else they'll just spawn in randomly when you get close. And then you can also make it so the cube is invisible. Just place it here. Okay, now you might want this to disable after a while, which isn't hard to do. All you do is you go into devices and get yourself a trigger and literally just grab yourself the trigger and you will place the trigger somewhere you can't see it obviously trigger when receiving from 150 receiving when received from retrieve onto channel 1 and we'll put a delay say of 5 seconds on this this is just so it will disable this once the person's done it put that in the channel 1 and then once you go into the button to show you this extra reset a wee bit of interact time so just put this say to one second now we started here and then if we go to the chest it says search and it spawned in the zombies but didn't open the chest and he's why are you looking away from us sir are you okay are you okay my guy this guy but then since we've done that it's now cancelled that so it won't spawn any more zombies and we can open the chest and then ladies and gentlemen that is how you make a trap chest in fortnite creative i'm your host today mr mobile and i'll see you tomorrow in the next one goodbye we're always angry guys